NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory provides us with the deepest view of the Sun we have ever seen. Thanks to the latest filter technologies, we can see the Sun as we have never seen it before. Violent upheavals on the ball of fire that gives us all life could also cause us lasting damage. Researchers are expecting a solar storm at any moment that could knock out all our communication networks and power supplies. The SDO systems were created to protect humanity and to keep a closer eye on our star. The sun was sacred to our ancestors. Almost everywhere on the globe, sun gods were the highest of all. The sun was considered the center of life and warmth. It was and is a symbol of strength and wealth. Although we no longer worship the sun as a deity, we are all aware that we would not be alive without the warmth and light of this star. The sun is a fascinating ball of fire on whose surface incredible things happen. Although it's relatively small and light compared to other stars in the universe, our sun plays a crucial role in life on Earth. As a huge cosmic reactor, it generates enormous amounts of energy through nuclear fusion, which reaches us as light and heat. In its core, hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium. This energy passes through the various layers of the sun and then reaches outer space in the form of solar radiation. When you feel the heat of the sun on your skin, the light that generated this heat took 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the outer layer of the sun to you, covering the incredible distance of around 150 million kilometers. The sun is not only our source of energy and heat, it also influences the climate and weather conditions on Earth. In modern times, the sun has taken on a new significance as a source of renewable energy. Solar energy can save us from climate collapse. But the sun can also be dangerous. If our atmosphere disappears, the Earth's vegetation will burn up. Solar activities such as sunspots, solar flares, and solar winds even have the ability to completely destroy our entire modern civilization and our security systems within a few minutes. Is the Sun sending a final warning? With the Solar Dynamics Observatory, NASA is keeping a close eye on our star. Every tiny ejection and every solar wind is recorded. The observatory provides us with more fascinating and in-depth insights into the processes of our star than ever before. It is only thanks to the color filters that we can follow the processes live and study the regions and activities on the Sun in detail. The images of the Sun are powerful. They fascinate, but also shock. Even the smallest changes on the surface are in reality gigantic storms and upheavals in a hot brew of plasma at around 5,500 degrees. On December 14, 2023, the Solar Dynamics Observatory captured this image of a solar flare. The flare can be seen as a bright flash at the top right of the image. The image shows the sun in a filter of extreme ultraviolet light. At 12.02, the ejection peaked and the Solar Dynamics Observatory sounded the alarm. This ejection had the potential to cause immense damage to the Earth. Solar flares are extremely powerful bursts of energy that endanger all radio communications, power grids, and navigation systems on Earth. When the particles hit our magnetic field, they are normally intercepted and dispersed in such a way that they do not penetrate into the lowest layers of the atmosphere. However, when strong storms threaten, this protection of our Earth collapses and the particles from the Sun pass through the protective mechanism. We know the wobbling of solar particles in the layers of the magnetic field as auroras. They are beautiful, no question. But if the Sun shows even more violent eruptions, the play of colors in the sky could mean the end for our cell phones, computers, and power grids. Solar flares are among the most powerful phenomena in the solar system and affect the entire solar system. Scientists also refer to these storms as flares and divide them into different classes. X-class flares are the most intense flares, which are powerful radiation storms worldwide. X-class flares are further categorized by a number, with higher numbers indicating greater intensity. An X2 flare is twice as intense as an X1 flare and this storm on December 14th had reached a rate of X2.8. M-class flares are harmless in comparison. They give us the popular auroras and can perhaps lead to minor radio blackouts. Class C, B, and A flares are even more harmless and can hardly be felt here on Earth. The storm on December 14th, 2023, 
definitely had what it takes to paralyze our entire navigation systems, such as aircraft controls and our radio communications. We were lucky that these consequences did not materialize. The extent to which such storms affect us also depends on the direction the current takes in space, how it behaves there, and how it possibly divides. Researchers classify flares using the peak flux of photons in watts per square meter. This value is measured in relation to the Earth's rotation. This type of classification has been established in order to have a globally standardized system of the intensity of individual solar flares and to communicate their possible effects on space weather and the Earth quickly and reliably. It really is incredible. But in an emergency, we have no means of protecting ourselves. If navigation and radio communications fail, planes can crash, ships can get lost in the ocean, and even your GPS would only show one failure. Imagine you're in the middle of the jungle and you've been relying on it. Then the sun blows a flare and you might hope that your instincts will show you the way as well as the GPS. The sun shows us in a strange way our vulnerability and dependence on technological systems. Now, you might say, never mind, it won't happen. It's never happened before. But that's a mistake. In 1859, the last major solar storm paralyzed the first newly installed power supply systems and telegraph lines. Sparks shot out of the lines, and some telegraph machines suddenly worked even without a power source, just because of the radiation that was everywhere. Back then, people were not half as dependent on communication systems as we are. Nevertheless, the Carrington event caused panic in some places. The sky was on fire, and people thought God had come to punish them. The news of what it really was about took weeks to reach the people. Telegraphs did not work. The British astronomer Richard Carrington correctly identified the event as a geomagnetic storm triggered by a solar flare. The SDO provides valuable clues. Scenarios like the Carrington event warn us of the importance of understanding our star. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO for short, has played a crucial role in our study of the Sun since 2012. Since August 2018, the Parker Solar Probe has been on its way to expand our knowledge of our star even further. This probe is the fastest space observatory ever made by humans and will orbit the Sun for many years to take measurements in the hot corona and observe our star at close range. The SDO will be used to monitor solar activity and also to better understand how our star affects Earth and space weather. If we want to expand our space travel in the coming years and send people on longer journeys to the Moon or Mars, we also need to know everything about the influences of the Sun. Strong solar storms can damage or even completely destroy spacecraft navigation systems. The SDO works with a whole range of sophisticated instruments. The Atmospheric Imaging Assembly, AIA, captures high-resolution images of the Sun's atmosphere. The Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, HMI, studies the Sun's magnetic field and dynamic movements in the Sun. And the Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment, EVE, measures the Sun's UV radiation. SDO observes our Sun around the clock through several light filters so that no eruption, flare, or coronal mass ejection escapes our attention. Even the finest solar magnetic field changes are recorded, and thanks to SDO, we now have a much deeper understanding of the complex and dynamic magnetic field of the Sun. What does ultraviolet radiation reveal? Have you ever tried to observe the Sun? We humans can hardly look directly at the Sun for a moment without causing massive damage to our eyes. Most of us have to look away immediately, blink, or are blinded. So it really is a feat to observe this blazing hot and bright ball of fire. For example, our eyes can only perceive the glaringly bright light of the sun. But did you know that the sun emits light in waves that are invisible to us? Surely you did, because if you have ever bought a pair of sunglasses with a UV filter, it is precisely this light, or rather one of these invisible wavelengths, that you are looking at. Ultraviolet radiation is a wavelength of sunlight that easily penetrates our atmosphere and can give us sunburn. Other wavelengths of light from the sun cannot penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, but they still interact with the upper layers of the atmosphere or simply fly past us. 
Sunlight and solar radiation are therefore much more important. Much more than just the bright yellow or white rays of sunlight that we see and eagerly await in spring. The emission spectrum of the sun is far richer and so is the influence of solar activity on our planet and our organisms. The SDO uses four telescopes that image the sun in the UV spectrum. When the ultraviolet rays hit the telescope, a mirror with special coatings filters the light and makes the images available in different variants that look yellow, greenish, or blue to us. Basically, the telescope does nothing more than your cell phone does when you use the camera. The incoming photons are recorded as pixels, converted into electrical signals, and then displayed as a print. In addition to ultraviolet light, infrared light and visible light, the sun emits radiation in radio wave format. The sun's activity can therefore also be observed with large radio telescopes such as the Solar and Heliospheric Observatories and the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory in Godard. The light that can cause us problems on Earth is extreme ultraviolet radiation. These very active and energetic photons trigger chains of events on Earth that are not yet fully understood. For the most part, our planet's atmosphere absorbs most of this solar radiation. But we must expect solar storms, and thus attacks, with extreme ultraviolet light to increase. Researchers are using computer models to try to predict possible events and develop protection systems. Scientists around the world are currently investigating how our electricity and communication networks can become more resistant to solar radiation. Early warning systems, such as NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder and others, warn energy companies and airlines of flares of Class X1 or higher. If the first disruptions are detected, flights will be canceled and electricity customers warned in the future. If you want to see many more videos like this one, then subscribe now.